Okay, everybody, here it is. Time for the big reveal, showing everything I've put done so far, all put together. And I tell you, it's been a lot of work. And but I'm incredibly happy with with how everything came out. Um, it's awesome beyond awesome. And uh, you're not really ready for this, I don't think. But anyway, here we go. So this is the blue tarp that's being on the sky. Slowly pan out. Here we go. One orc. Helicarrier gaming table. So it's going to be hard to fit a whole gaming table into the frame, but I will try my best here. Kind of go back and forth a couple times. So let's see how we, let's see if we can zoom in here. So first of all, I did get all the fans mounted. They're all just hot glued into the wood. Got everything all cut out. I actually ended up using a hacksaw blade in my um, jigsaw and that worked out perfectly able to control it and everything and so this is what it looks like spinning obviously so just this one is kind of jury rigged for now just to, to demonstrate it um, I got holes drilled everywhere so I can run wires underneath it obviously and hopefully I can get it running off a computer power supply if not then I might have to borrow a car battery from somewhere to run it so I got all four of the outriggers all ready to go they all do spin but it's only the one that's plugged in right now. So I got out the Promethean pipes just for some extra terrain. I was going to put this barrier here behind the turret, but I think it works better for a jet blast for the takeoff. So you can see things have been kind of moved around a little bit. So these things used to be on either side. And then when I put the island down, I noticed that it was too big and didn't actually leave a place for the plane to land. So I decided to change it around so that you've got one landing aisle right there. And then we got a takeoff runway right there. So we're going to have green LEDs here for the takeoff and red LEDs for the landing, obviously green and yellow. I'm hoping to get some blinking LEDs for the four outriggers. Since I'm already running wires to them, I might as well run um, LEDs too. Because LEDs really don't cost a lot. It's just a matter of getting it done. Um, probably the big, biggest expense I've left is the actual cork. And then of course paint. Now I gotta paint everything. Oh, and then I have to get I still have to get the nail studs for all the rivets for everything before I can paint the buildings. I can get started on the on the rear turrets, on the truck, and on the barrier, and on the uh, elevator pads before I get the rivets. So that's gonna be my next step is actually get start getting this stuff painted. Um, because that is where we're at. So I think this is of course, this is like in display. You can move everything around so it's more a playable distribution of terrain. Um, you have plenty of room here for cover for infantry models behind the edges there. Let's see if I can get some different views here. Kind of a deck level. Here's the other side of the island. Oh yeah, and I also put, got out one of my copters and put it on the copter pad up there. Perfect size. So yeah, there is a complete table layout. So the construction is like 90% complete other than the uh, wiring and the LEDs. So all I have to do is I say get the nail studs, put all the rivets on the foam core buildings. Uh, cork down on the flight deck and then start wiring up the electronics. So next step is some more money but other than that we are in very good shape with an absolutely in my opinion just absolutely awesome Orc Helicarrier gaming table. As I said I just could not be happier with how this thing has come out so far. Again, if you want to get some more updates as this project continues, go ahead and subscribe. Pass this video around. I'd really appreciate it if I get some more input on the project. I'm always looking for more input. And thanks for watching.